Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Carla Leitner, one of our ministers here at Unity San Diego. And today is Monday, March 21st. So it's a beautiful day here, a little bit colder, um, but I'm affirming this is a beautiful day throughout wherever we are, praying for those people in Ukraine, that their day be lifted, that this peace be with each and every one of them. And that as, Rev as Mother Teresa said, we will not protest war, but we will claim peace. So let's claim peace. Let's take a moment to claim peace. Claim, claim peace. Love. A peaceful presence. Peace for those for the people of the Ukraine and love guidance protection for all the people and those that are helping those that have gone to the borders of Poland and the other borders to be able to help to help those in need and so we pray for the peace we pray for the health we pray for the well-being we pray for this peace to engulf the entire world and we say thank you God and so it is today Monday March 21st the daily word is about faith it's about beholding faith through the lens lens the world through the lens of faith sometimes people say oh it's airy fairy I'll just close my eyes and I'll let things happen I'm looking through rose-colored glasses but you know there's a saying that feet have prayer. Well, prayers have feet. <laughs> so when we pray, we need to have feet with our actions. And so we need to hold a higher, hold a higher view of all the circumstances in our own lives and in the world. We must really believe that there is a possibility of peace. Even when, in the outside, when we look with our human eyes, we see conflict, we see strife, we see war. We need to believe that there is this possibility, that there is peace and will is pre be present in our lifetime. One of our church prayers we used to do every day here was uh, trying to remember it because it has been a while, but we used to do the prayer with Reverend Blair and it would say, peace in my lifetime is inevitable. So we are firming and knowing that peace is available. We need to believe that comfort is available in the presence of pain and grief. Healing is possible and wholeness can be realized even when people are ill. So we're fully in the world because we're here in this human experience. Now, you've heard me say many times we are spiritual beings having this temporary human experience in a spiritual world that is governed by spiritual laws. And so we need to remain troubled within. We attune ourselves to a greater reality by having faith and relaxing into God's abundant presence, knowing that if I respond with faith, if I'm centered my faith and I have a peaceful presence then I spread that to the next person who then responds in, in peace in tranquility relaxing into the God of their understanding's arms and then the next person and the next person but if I'm oh my God oh my God then the next person that's contagious right that attitude that that hysteria that uh, oh my God that's can go from person to person and person and can rile people up. We've seen that throughout history where one person has riled up countries to do things unimaginably terrible. So we can turn that around and we can rile up people with peace. We can become present. We can become peaceful knowing as Hebrews 11.1 1 says, faith is the assurance of things hoped for the conviction of things not seen. When we look through the eyes of faith, 
we take a higher view and we can hold that high watch. And when we pray for peace, and we ourselves believe without a shadow of a doubt that that begins with me, I am peaceful and I keep this peaceful presence, then that also spreads. Let's make that peaceful presence, that love, that joy, that vulnerability, our transparency be spread peacefully, peacefully through. Let's breathe and let go. Let's breathe and let go. And let's take a moment to wiggle out, to just focus on faith. Focus on not looking through rose-colored glasses. Oh, it's okay. It'll be all right. Don't worry. Airy-fairy. We don't want to be like that because we have a part to do. Each and every one of us must go within and take the time to become a peaceful presence ourselves to live within faith, to take the time to be and commune with the God of our understanding so we can see what is ours to do, so we can express in positive ways. So we have a little job to do. We can't just give it to God. Our prayers, our intentions, our requests need to have feet, and we have our feet within, and we'll do that right now. As we are here together, friends, we are in a time of sacred space, in a sacred place. So breathe in, I am out, God's peace. I am God's love. I am God's faith. I am a peaceful presence, and I express this in my world. I see life through the eyes of faith. I look with my spiritual eyes and see beyond human lack, limitation, sickness, war, and disease. I look beyond knowing that as I become that peaceful presence, those in my immediate family, those that are here with me will see me become this role model, this change of peace, and it will spread. And as each and every one of us become a peaceful presence, we will spread that peace in the world where we'll become the peace, the world peace is possible in our lifetime as we each focus on faith in the silence.
am a peaceful presence. And as my prayers have feet, I come to this silence within at any time, at any time where I feel rushed or worried, any time I feel confused and unclear. I move with faith so that I can remain untroubled, so that my heart can remain light so that I can see through the eyes of the God of my understanding and become the peace I wish to see in this world. And I say thank you, thank you, thank you, God. And so it is, and so it shall be. Amen and amen. Let's take a moment and breathe. Whew, let go. Open up again eyes as you feel moved to do so. I invite you friends to take this money, Monday, this faithful Monday, to focus on faith, to focus on peace, to know that there is always a higher principle and a higher good. There's always more to see than we can see with our human eyes. And I invite you to put feet to your prayers and become that peaceful presence. Well, thank you so much again for joining me, friends. Have a beautiful Monday. Namaste. Bye-bye.